Greetings, YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about some dice. I've had one particular subscriber bugging me repeatedly about my dice collection. This is not my entire dice collection. I may get into more of my dice collection in the future, but this is the go-to dice. These are the dice I use from at any time I'm going to game. This is the box I pull out right here. Now this was originally designed as a parts box to show off parts at conventions for a company I used to work for. And when they got rid of this box, I snagged it up so that I could take it and use it for this. So this is how I was. I, I carried my my dice like this for. Oh heck, I've been using these for 20 years, something years, I guess. Um, and there's slight order here, not completely. Um, for example, this over here is all D20s, and these are just some of the D20s I've collected over the years. Um, a fire one, because I like the fire one. Um, I happen to like translucence, so I like translucence, and I have a fondness for the colors of red and green. I'm not 100% sure why. When it comes to translucence, here's a blue translucent. Um, this, whoops, this one I don't use any longer because it's useless, but it's my first die. This is the first die 20 I've ever owned. I, I've owned it since 1978. It is almost spherical. <laughs> it's pretty much useless. Um, the, the numbers have been worn off, but um, I keep it around for sentimental value. And again, some more translucents, uh, kind of a champagne color and a yellow color. Then um, we have a kind of a pearlescent steely gray kind of a color. Um, and again, a, a sparkly, here's a sparkly semi-translucent uh, D20 in, in red. Here you have a purple translucent. I always like the way the light played through that particular purple color. Um, here we have a glow in the dark um, D20. Here we have um, a kind of a stone textured greeny black version, kind of look basically like malachite. Um, and then we have another kind of a, 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 a blue red speckled design. Um, this section in here is roughly D12s. Here we have just a white one. This is a piece of, let me get out of the box. This is a piece of tumbling medium for polishing stone, polishing metal. Uh, I picked it up from work, I thought it was cool shape, and I kept it, no idea why. Um, here we have a blue D12, which is oddly probably my favorite one I have in my collection. Here we have a sparkly light blue, semi-translucent. Um, here we have a, uh, that's a dark color, I actually have a hard time telling what color it is now. My contrast vision is really gotten bad, it's speckled, uh, speckled color, but I have a hard time seeing that one now. We have a black one, black and red. Um, here we have a, again, kind of a, kind of a champagne clear, not quite clear, but not quite yellow. Um, more speckled design. And um, a clear one, kind of a smoky clear. And then we have this one, which is my actual favorite for, for this actually is my favorite. Sorry, that's not the fair one. This one's the favorite one. I'm not 100% sure how it ended up inside this container or why it ended up inside the container. For those of you that don't know this, this is a film container from back in the area when people actually had film cameras. Um, but it ended up in there and it's always stayed in there. Um, how are we doing for time? Okay. Um, here we go with a bunch of D10s. Um, purple, black, this, this green one and this red one, are, these are the ones I used in for my percentile. These are always my percentiles and red was always high. These are the ones I used for years and years and years and years. Um, here we have a smoky translucent and kind of a clear translucent. Here we have a, another um, multicolored speckle and another one so that you go um, high and low on those because there's a 10 to 100 and then this, this is the singles digit. Here we have a fancier rose. I think that might be from Masquerade, the, the Vampire the Masquerade. I just liked it because it was a neat, neat dye. Here we have a yellow translucent. Here we have one which has triangles. I have no idea what this is from. Anybody out there can tell me what this is from? I would love to know. Uh, I picked it up someplace. I'm like, I don't know what that is, but it was cool looking. And then we have a kind of a sky blue. And there's a paper clip in there. And then this is a 30-sided die for you out there who remember 30-sided die. They were a thing. In fact, the company that produced this actually put out a book of 30 
uh, of charts that had 30 um, selections on them. Um, here we have uh, a couple of die eights. Uh, that green one is my favorite. There's a blue speckly one. This is a crystal that a friend gave me as a gift once. Her name was Denise. Um, she used to always make me smile. She had no money, but she gave me a sparkly gem that kept me busy when I was bored at games. Um, here we have an unusual um, die six. You roll sideways. Um, here we have um, a pen, which a pencil rather, which I used. It, this is a uh, a pro use of 0.3 millimeter platinum Japan. In fact, I did an entire video about this, and it is very popular for some weird reason, but it has been very popular. Sparkly blue, a die six inside a die six. Um, a black and red one, a blue marble, no idea why. Um, again, kind of a smoky translucent. A D8 with pips, which means it's really difficult to roll and read. And again, multicolored D8. A white and red one. And more green ones. These three, I have three green ones. Those are the ones that I would, I would always roll when I had to roll multiples. And this is a D100 which is, means it's it's basically useless. It rolls forever because it's got round faces. But this the, uh, the the sound you hear is bits of plastic in there and they would help it stop rolling. Um, then we have a whole lot of D6s, because you use D6s a lot in uh, in many types of, many D&D games. Uh, this one has a, a skull on it. I used that one for day encounters. Um, black and red one, um, more yellow ones. Translucent ones, uh, more green one, translucent, more red translucent. These have different shapes, chaos dice. Um, this one may be my oldest die. I've had this long before I ever even played D&D. &D. And here we have a teeny tiny little D6, which I think is probably much used, pretty much useless. Another D6 instead of D6. That should probably, that should probably have been in there. And more translucents. Uh, more black and reds. I always liked the black and reds. I thought they were kind of cool. Um, here is a black and red with a skull. I use that for nighttime encounters. So I use die sixes. And then we have some more just... And then we get into some specialty d6s. Uh, we have a cat on this one. Here we have a hit location die. Um, here we have large numbers with a kind of a cartoony skull and crossbones. Um, here we have different types of traps or dangers. Um, semi-realistic bone dice, not really realistic bone dice, but semi-realistic. Um, here we have foe and friend die. Another semi-realist, I mean a cartoony die six. I have some D4s in here. Now the D4s are a pain in the butt to get out, but you folks know what D4s look like. Um, don't use D4s a whole lot in the game, except for what, magic missiles in D&D and Pathfinder. There's not a whole lot else that uses D4s. Um, die, damage, uh, dagger dice, things like da dagger damage. Here we have a weather die. I used to use that quite frequently. Here we have evil, neutral, good for fast uh, alignment decisions. Here we have more trap types, useful for things like that. Here we have a treasure type, type, type die, which I would frequently use. Um, Non-magical weapon and a magical weapon. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't use the, the same particular one over and over again. Here we have a flamingo die. That was a gift from a friend. Here we have a reaction die. Seeing how I react to your your presence. Um, magically locked, locked, stuck, trapped, open, open. It's for a die for doors. I don't remember where I got that one. Here we have a uh, a dungeon dice die. So you could like quickly whip out a dungeon, a random dungeon if you needed one. And this one is a lobster. And again, that was a gift from a friend. I think all of the 
I think all the animal dice were actually gifts from the same person, if I remember correctly, because they knew that I was into unusual dice. But this has been the truncated dice video. It's not everything I've got in my collection, but these are the ones I carry two games and two confirmed games. If anybody knows what this is, I'd love to know. I think it's cool looking, but it's utterly useless. So, I hope this keeps Hero Slayer 5 happy.